Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing a simple way of cooking traditional chicken rice balls as well as a modern chicken rice sushi. Chicken rice is something that we usually cook during festive occasions when there are lots of people around because in order to cook chicken rice, usually you need a whole chicken. You need to boil the whole chicken, then use the soup to cook the rice. But this is a very simple project that you can do on a weekday. And especially if you have kids, they can also get involved by making those chicken rice balls. And they are fun to eat. Today we'll be using this Okomi brand USA Calrose rice. This is actually grown in the USA and it was voted World Best Rice in 2013 and 2015. USA Calrose rice is a medium grain rice and tend to be a little bit more sticky so it's easier to make those balls. And the US farmers are constantly improving on the technology so nowadays they are actually using less water to grow the rice. First thing to do is to wash the rice. So the rice is washed, let's keep it aside and uh, prepare the chicken. We need to flatten the chicken so that it will cook evenly. We're just going to use a, a mallet. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to make the chicken skin nice and yellow. Of course, you can pick up some kampong chicken with a natural yellow skin. I like my chicken skin to look yellow because it looks more lively and delicious. This is an optional step, you really don't need to do this, but it really does make the chicken look nicer. These are dried gardenia fruit. They come from the gardenia flower. They are used in Chinese medicine. You can drink this for bronchitis, it will it's good for high blood pressure and all, but basically we are only using this as a natural food colour. So we're just going to give them a tap to smash them a little bit, just to break them out. So we're going to add some hot water, strain it. You see how it stained the, the bowl? We're going to use this to uh, paint the chicken skin, this beautiful gold colour. Chicken rice, the essential ingredients are garlic and ginger. So basically you need about 4 cloves of garlic and about that amount of ginger, about 60 grams after you've taken off all the skin. Now I've already done it, uh, basically you grate the ginger and then you squeeze out all the juice. So the juice and the, the dry part is separate and uh, the garlic we mince. Let's turn on the fire. And we want the fire not to be too, too hot, just a gentle heat. Two or three tablespoons of cooking oil. That oil is going to absorb all the taste of the garlic and then distribute it into the rice. Chicken rice is a little bit more oily, but that's what makes it so nice. So we put in all the garlic and we'll put in half of the ginger. Gently just fry your ginger and garlic. Once you can smell all the nice aromatic garlic and ginger smell. You add in all your rice. Now we want to coat the rice with the uh, fragrant garlic and ginger oil. Now we're going to add in the water. So for Kelrose rice, the proportion of rice to water is 1 cup of rice to 1.25 to 1.5 cups of water. The ginger juice, you can add in more if you want. We cheat a bit by putting in a bit of the chicken powder to give it flavour. Once the water starts to boil, we'll turn down the heat and set the timer for 20 minutes. After about 5 minutes, a lot of the water has been absorbed. We give the rice a bit of a stir. Now we're just going to add in some uh, pandan leaf. I'm going to do it this way. I know this is not the traditional way of doing it, but this is a modern recipe. And on top of the pandan leaf, we'll add the chicken. And we'll cook it for another 15 minutes. There's plenty of recipes for Kelrose rice. You can go check out my YouTube channel to and look through it. Uh, very versatile rice that you can have at home as a everyday rice. While the rice is cooking, let's make a nice dipping sauce for the chicken rice. We've got three scallions here. We're going to separate the whites and the greens. This one, the oil doesn't have to be too hot. In fact, it must not be too hot, right? We just add the oil into the saucepan. We're going to add the white part of the scallion and also the rest of the minced ginger which we minced earlier on. Just heat it until you can smell the smell of the ginger and it's ready. The green part we don't want to cook. We just put it into a bowl. Add a bit of chicken powder to the bowl. Maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of sugar. Once you see it sizzling like that, just throw it in. And give it a quick stir. And that is going to be an awesome dipping sauce for your chicken rice. It's 20 minutes, 
So let's turn off the fire. The chicken at this stage uh, should be nice and cooked. As you can see, it's already shrunk. You can just check and make sure that the meat is cooked. Remove the chicken and then we'll remove the pandan leaves. Just leave it aside. While the rice is resting, we're just going to uh, add some uh, sesame oil onto the skin of the chicken so it doesn't dry up. So the rice has rested for about 10 minutes. So now it's nice and fluffy, you can see. I'm at home, I'm using gloves to handle the rice because I know there are some people out there who will comment if I don't use gloves. Basically, I'm using an ice cream scoop and get a sort of a, this amount of rice and then just basically mold it. So easy. Huh? The kids will love this part, right? So fun. See? It's really nice to use Calrose rice to make these balls because it's just nice. It's not overly sticky, but just sticky enough, you know, it just holds it really well that way. So the balls go on. And then we finish off with a nice dressing of ginger and green onions. And there you have traditional chicken rice balls. Quite easy, right? Everything done in one pot. Now we're going to show you how to make chicken rice balls of the 21st century. I'm going to be making Oshi Sushi. So I have this box which I specially bought online. But if you don't have a box like this, you can easily use a kick tin. You press your sushi and it will come out really nice. So first thing is to line our box with a bit of cling wrap. And you want to slice uh, that chicken sort of like around that size. I'm going to put this chicken into the box. Remember to put the skin down, yeah? we we'll just put our rice in. I'm going to wrap it up nicely. And then just press it. You want to flatten that skin of the chicken as much as you can and make sure the rice is nice and compressed. So, there you go. And now, you have a really nice chicken rice sushi. Or maybe we should call it kueh ayam. Like kueh salad, but chicken. <laughs> Don't you just love the golden yellow colour? Huh? Love that heck, huh? remember those gardenia seeds? You can easily buy it from the medicinal hall. So let's uh, slice out our chicken rice sushi. Finally, some garnish on top. There you have chicken rice sushi. That's Hainanese chicken rice balls for the 21st century. Nice, right? And now it's time to try the chicken rice sushi! Mmm! Too easy to eat, no? I'm sure all your kids will love it. Next time, when you're at the supermarket, make sure you look out for the USA Kelros rice. I think the texture and the stickiness of the rice is just nice for making sushi. So as you can see, it's quite easy to cook chicken rice on a weekday. All you need is some chicken, some rice, and a pot. You can make a nice chicken rice and even make nice sushi. Until next time, happy cooking and bye!